Hello, and welcome to iClone Tutorials. Refining Google Models with 3D Exchange 2.0 for use inside of iClone Studio. Finding just the right models for your project is sometimes easier to imagine than accomplish. Now, with the innovations made with iClone 3D Exchange 2.0, it's never been easier to find what you're searching for. Using Google SketchUp's large library of models to choose from, iClone 3D Exchange now has the option to access and download any asset you can find in the Google collection. You can now manipulate extra features in 3D Exchange, such as opacity and illumination, making each model even more realistic before its inception into iClone. In this tutorial, we will refine a Lotus Elise model from Google SketchUp with 3D Exchange for use in iClone Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. Section 1. Downloading models from Google SketchUp to 3D Exchange. Step number one, open iClone 3D Exchange 2.0 and click the G icon found on the top toolbar. This will launch Google 3D Warehouse. Type in Lotus Elise R and then click search. You will be able to access any number of vehicles from the Google library that will work with this conversion method. Step number two, on the first page of the results, locate the Lotus model with the spoiler. Click Download Model to download the card directly into iClone 3D Exchange from Google 3D Warehouse. Section 2. Editing Models in Google SketchUp. Step number 3. Now you may want to make changes to the model's mesh. This is very easy to do in Google SketchUp, which provides you with a free modeling tool that is simple to use to edit models found in 3D Warehouse. Go to File edit original SKP file or use hotkey control plus K then choose yes to launch the model into Google SketchUp. Step number four you can make quick edits to the model once inside of Google SketchUp. In this example we will be removing the spoiler from the back of the car. To accomplish this all you need to do is right click on the model inside of SketchUp then choose the explode option. This will unlink the model's elements making them able to be edited individually. Step number five, use the select tool and drag a box around the spoiler, isolating the spoiler from the rest of the car. Then hit delete to remove the object completely. This is optional of course. You may choose not to edit the object however, Google SketchUp provides an awesome solution with a free modeling tool if you choose to make changes to your models. Step number six, now save the SKP you want to edit. Go to file, save as, and then name your new file Lotus Elise R1. Now you're ready to reopen the file inside of 3D Exchange 2.0 to refine the model. Section number three, refining key elements in 3D Exchange to export into iClone. Step number seven, use hotkey F5 to reload the file. Inside 3D Exchange, highlight the SKP root and then locate the scene transform panel and click the align to ground button. This will move your model to the default ground placement in relation to iClone Studio. So when you export your model it will be properly oriented. Then go to tools and choose exclude SKP backfaces. This is due to the fact that most SketchUp models include extra backfaces which in turn raises the polygon count. By excluding these faces you make the model smaller in size and face count. Step number eight, select the wheel RF front side node or double click directly on the front wheel in the viewport and then click the flip checkbox. Notice that this will flip the faces. On the tires that are facing backwards make sure you double click and flip them forwards. Now make sure weld vertex is clicked and then click the auto smooth button. This will smooth the wheels and fix the appearance of the wheels and the tires themselves. Do this for all four tires. Step number nine. In the seed tree locate the wind SCRE02 front side node and then check on modify color swatch to activate the color menu. Choose a light gray and then click OK. Step number 10. Next, select the door underscore LF underscore OK front side node and the door RF OK front side node and the 
chassis underscore VL front side node. These are the nodes for the doors and the body. Click the Weld Vertex checkbox and then click Auto Smooth with a value of 45 entered into the Smooth field. This should now have your entire car smoothed. Step number 11. Select the Wind SCRE02 front side node once again and then check on the Modify Specularity checkbox and set both the specular and glossiness levels to 20. Then check on Modify Opacity and set the level to 25. This will properly edit the car's glass. Step number 12, select the chassis underscore V front side node again and then check on the modify specularity checkbox and set the specular and the glossiness values to 20 apiece, modifying the specular and glossiness attributes of the car body itself. Step number 13, now export the car body to iClone. Go to File, Export, and name your file Lotus Body. Make sure that the Props Bullet is selected and then click OK to successfully export into the Custom Props folder. Also take notice that now you have the Export Selected Only option. Section 4, Loading and Reviewing the Refined 3D Model Inside of iClone. Step number 14, open iClone Studio and go to Scene, Props, Custom Tab, Props Folder, and scroll down and double click on the Lotus Body Prop, and zoom out in the viewport to view your newly refined SketchUp Prop. Step number 15, load a 2D background into the scene, and then click the Lights button, and select the Modify tab, and then Use Select Light to play with the light settings to see the refined detail of the model. Notice the difference from the original SKP model, now converted to a prop ready for use in iClone. The power to create rich props for iClone using Google SketchUp and 3D Exchange 2.0 has arrived, making it easy for users to locate and harvest models from the vast SketchUp library, has now opened a whole new world of content to iClone directors. The new 3D Exchange makes it easy to select specific areas to edit or exclude in the final model output, refine and further develop detailed aspects of each and every piece of content you choose, making it perfect before it reaches the iClone real-time production environment. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.